No matter if you have a stock controller, a custom controller, a scuff gaming controller, it really does not matter what type of controller you have. One thing I could vouch for everybody to get is a Control Freaks for their controller. And I think a lot of people currently have Control Freaks or are currently looking for their own Control Freaks, but just really don't know which one to get. I mean, there's just so many options online and so many options to choose from. So it begs the question, which one is the best to use? Let's get right into it. As one may know, I'm basically a god at Apex Legends, so I really don't even need Control Freaks, all right? <laughs> Dude, what? Is every Gibraltar a god with the PK? Okay, maybe I need it a little bit. Now, if you don't know what Control Freaks is, let me just go over that real quick. Control Freaks is basically an attachment that attaches to the top of your thumbstick so that you can control the degree of tilt on your thumbstick way better. Basically, it gives you much finer aim whenever you're playing any type of FPS game and is highly recommended. Because the thumbstick is just so small and it's not as precise to something like a mouse, that's why having something like a Control Freaks giving you that little bit of finer aim really does go a long way. And one thing that a lot of people overlook whenever they think about Control Freaks is that Control Freaks actually has an added width to it. As you see here, if you compare the Control Freaks width to a regular standard thumbstick on a PS5 controller, you can see that there's a definitive width difference between the two. Now, what that does, well, it gives you much more surface area for your thumb to sit on while not jeopardizing any type of movement. So with Control Freaks, not only are you having a better control of the degree of tilt with it, but you're also getting a better grip on the thumbstick that way you don't slip off and it doesn't mess up your aim one bit. And just to top it off with a little cherry on top, these things go for like $15, $16 and is super affordable. So you're not really breaking the bank for something that can really help you out a long way. Now with that said, the two different types of control freaks that I did buy was the Freak Inferno and the Galaxy Purple. Now these were the top two picks that people said online, but I had to do a deep dive and actually check to see which one is actually the best. So what I did was I tested out the Galaxy Purple on my Hex Gaming Rival controller, and then I spent the next month testing out the Freak Inferno on my Hex Gaming Ultimate controller. And with a shadow of a doubt, the best one to use is the Freak Inferno. And trust me guys, it is not even close. One thing that you could quickly notice about the Galaxy Purple when you actually look at it is that it has much more of a concave than the Freak Inferno. Because the ridges don't start exactly on the outside of the control freaks, it makes it so that the actual concave is much more centered towards the middle of the controller. So it's kind of counterproductive because you got this bigger thumbstick, but since the concave starts in center, that means you have to put your thumb a little bit more towards the center, which um, at that point you might as well just use a regular thumbstick. Another thing to note is that the concave itself from the top of the ridges to the bottom of the uh, I don't know, the, tr the trough? I, I don't know what you call this thing. But yeah, from the top of the concave to the bottom or the, uh, the middle of the controller, it's a lot bigger of a difference than if you compare it to the Freak Inferno. The Freak Inferno, it's basically a concave shape, but it's a little bit more flatter. And one thing, if you just stop and look at your thumb, your, your thumb's not as concave as you think it might be at least like when you're actually playing, when you actually press down on anything, it's gonna be more flatter than you think. And that's why I think the Freak Inferno is a little bit better because it has a nice medium to it. It's a little bit concave, but it's not too much to where you have to position your thumb in a weird way. Also with the Galaxy Purple, I just feel like there's just so much ridges going on, so much things going on on the part that your thumb actually touches. So I feel like you kind of don't get a, the best grip because you're not actually equally distributing your thumb pressure on that specific control freaks. Since the Freak Inferno is a little bit more uniform in its texture, I feel like it's much more easier to work your thumb onto it and have better control overall on that thumbstick. Both of these control freaks are high rise, which is another great thing that I think everybody should consider. I think once you get used to the high rise, it's kind of hard to go back to a regular mid rise or a low rise uh, control freaks. And of course it gives you a higher degree of control on your thumbstick. In terms of the shapes, of course, I had to go with concave. There's no reason to go with convex. That's like when it's like a circle on the outside. I don't know, I think Control Freaks has options like that, but me personally, I think there's no reason to do that because it's kind of counterproductive on the way your thumb is shaped. If your thumb had a big crater in it, then yeah, by all means, go for a convex Control Freaks. But um, yeah, yeah, don't do that. 
And I mean, these are only two options here, but I know Control Freaks has a lot of different options. And frankly, I just think that all those other options, they're just, they have way too much stuff going on. I think this one is one of the best. Not only does it have the perfect height, as a perfect shape, and the perfect width to it. So there is basically no reason I could vouch for any of those other control freaks. Now, I don't know why I put the Galaxy Purple on the red controller and then the red Inferno on the, uh, the white and gold controller. It probably would have been better if I swapped it up, but regardless, we're going with this. And maybe I should have talked about this in the beginning of the video, but guys, I am no way sponsored by control freaks to make this video or talk about any of these specific control freaks for this video. I just decided to make this video because I genuinely like control freaks. I think it's a great thing to have on your controller and you could definitely tell the difference once you get used to it. Just a word of advice, if you do use control freaks, make sure that you increase your sensitivity by like two notches. Like if you play on like a, a four or five, maybe you play on like a, a six, six or something like that because um, yeah, you're gonna need it because these control freaks, when it raises your thumb a little bit higher, that means that you're gonna have a higher degree of tilt and it's gonna be a little bit slower when you aim if you're so used to that um, like lower sensitivity. So yeah, make sure you increase your sensitivity that way it kind of compensates for that. But I think that about sums it up. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys actually wanna see which is my favorite controller that I paired with my control freaks, make sure to go ahead and check out the video right up here. I talk about all the controllers I currently have in my room and the best one that I recommend for the PS5. But anyways, guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching. But as always, peace out.